This is Pastor John Lindale. And during his men's conference, he thought it would be okay to open the conference with a male dancer. Watch this. Make it make sense. This is where thousands of men gather together as believers. However, every man in there should have stood up, walked out, and never looked back. And since John Lindale decided to approve this, they should have left John Lindale there by himself to be entertained by this sacrilege. But at least someone was there to call this out for what it was. This is Pastor Mark Driscoll, and he labeled this performance as sacrilege. And I 100% agree with this observation. But while he was addressing this issue, Pastor John Lindale kicked him off stage. Watch this. I've been up since one o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you and my heart is very burdened for you. And I want to be very careful with this, and it's not what I want to say, but the Jezebel spirit has already been here. The Jezebel spirit opened our event. There was a platform. It was a high place. On it was a pole, an ashram. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole. And then he swallowed a sword. Uh, okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. And Pastor John Lindale tried to justify the reason he kicked him off stage, but notice he didn't see anything wrong with this dancer performance. This is the pole that they use to perform the most inappropriate dances as you can imagine, but Pastor John Lindale had no problem with it. There is no explanation that can justify this. Why would John Lindale allow this to go on in front of thousands of men as though all these men came to be entertained by a shirtless man performing on a pole. Brothers and sisters, there are wolves in sheep clothing and they come to devour the sheep. So brothers and sisters, watch and pray and don't be deceived. God bless you.